G'day, my name is Dainzy, and this is me trying to walk and talk that I'm making some changes to the backyard bandit shed operations. The kids are growing up, the trampoline is gone, so maybe now I can score a little more real estate for shed dwelling activities. A shed extension. I'm making myself a little more space. Now this is a multiple phase operation that may take me a while. However, phase one is simply creating some more floor space. Oh. Right. No room to slide. Oh, I just corked my ass. Being a dickhead. It is nearly time for operation table saw upgrade. And this saw has a slightly bigger footprint. This is a bit of a talky talky video. So please enjoy the renovations while I take a few moments to give you the quick backstory and bring you up to speed. Six years ago, I started a hobby, woodworking with pallets. I quickly figured out I could have this hobby pay for itself by making things and selling things. I then started to realize I actually had myself a side hustle. And here in Australia, the difference between a hobby and a side hustle or running a business is one thing. Are you making a profit? If the answer is yes, the tax man wants to know about it. Anyway, I have a full-time job job. <clears throat> and what I'm actually doing out here in the shed is building a backup plan. Learning as I go and wondering if I can go full business human. One day, I hope. At the moment, I like having a side hustle. A side hustle by definition means extra monies in your pocket to top up the weekly budget. And more importantly, slowly help build up everything I need if I ever decide to take the plunge and quit my day job. A massive decision that I am a long way off yet. Early this year, I set a goal to save up the monies required for a new table saw, a cabinet saw with all the things that we like to drool over. This would be the most money that I've spent on a single machine in this shed. The plan was simple, make things and sell things with everything I have right here, right now in the shed. With the simple rule of time, don't waste it. 10 minutes, eight seconds. Balancing a full-time job, family, and a side hustle can be done. You just have to value your time wisely. Okay, since early 2023, I have built a dining table out of 40 skateboards and one massive pallet. It was a commission, so I knew what I was getting paid. Beauty, a thousand skins, I'm off and racing. I then plucked a TV cabinet design from my freckle to accurately establish how much time I spend on a particular project and calculate an hourly rate plus materials and see if I can sell the piece. By the way, it is still for sale for 2,300 kangaroos. Next up, I thought I would return to how it all started and make a hallway table more popular, less risk of my time with a decent profit. I sold that in a few days. At the same time, I had my son Harley building a bench, which he sold as well. And if you need your faith restored in humanity, check out that video that'll pop up at the end of this one. Spoiler alert, it was just the mates. I've also made and sold about 15 custom woodworking mallets for about 100 bucks each. Also turned and sold a couple of skateboard bowls and also sold four 3D downloadable print plans for my Czech Square corner plans. So basically add all that up and I have raised the money by making things and selling things, but not quite. That's not how a side hustle works. There is paying for consumable materials, timber, if you really have to. The tax man wants his cut, I have put that aside. And because it is a side hustle, the reality is money goes to all sorts of unexpected bills and things that come along with being an adult. Who knew? Now, if the TV cabinet had have sold, I would have easily reached my goal. Now, lucky for me, and to speed up this process, I have been lucky enough to do a little paid promotion, ad reads on a few of my videos, and I appreciate if you have watched those through. So, I am ready to make the decision on a new upgraded table saw, which I'll get back to shortly. Firstly, I want to quickly talk about something else that needs to improve around here. My skills, not just my woodwork skills. Skills that are going to help me as a side hustler. And how I'm going to do that is with Skillshare. Skillshare gives you greater opportunity to control your career or creative journey. I will be looking into improving my video editing, how to develop and market my products and dive into a little SEO. So I can be found online, which I have just got started and have enjoyed very much. 
There is a cheeky little rabbit hole I can highly recommend. Diversify your income and earn passive income. I took this class by Tiffany Emery, Etsy launch, how to open an Etsy shop like a professional seller. The main takeaway is you'll get everything you need to start your Etsy shop properly. Traditional work jobs are not one size fits all. Learn how to design a career to fit you. As you know, I'm building a backup plan. I want to explore my creative and career options. I want more financial stability, and I think I want to be my own boss. And Skillshare teachers will take us there step by step. So if you are keen as mustard to expand your skills, if you have the opportunity to explore the Skillshare class library completely free for one month. Achieve a new goal this year by signing up for a one month free trial, which is available to the first 1,000 people who click the link below for Skillshare. Okay, I wanna have a quick yak about side hustles. The realities and a few of my thoughts, maybe you wanna start a side hustle of your own, a side hustle by name is adding extra cashiola to your other income streams, bonus monies. Once the hustle has paid for its own expenses, of course, find a hobby that you love and then find a way to monetize it. If the hobby is just paying for itself, perfect. No need to tell the tax man, it is still just a hobby. I like to have the mindset that the side hustle is bonus money. I'm doing what I enjoy and when I make sales, that money helps out. That is win-win. I don't want this side hustle to feel like a burden or have the pressure to make this bonus money. That is when some things can become less enjoyable. And these thoughts are merely from my point of view. A side hustle to you may just be a second job. You don't have to love it, of course. Early on, I treated my hobby like a side hustle and my side hustle like a hobby, if that makes sense. Profitable, efficient, yet still having fun. I'm also very realistic with this side hustle becoming a full-time business. Replacing a full-time job income is no easy task. That is why I am building a backup plan. Learning lots of things, trying different things, finding side hustles for the side hustles. YouTube is a side hustle. If you are thinking about firing up the channel, do it, just get started. There are 8 billion people on this planet. You can find an audience. All right, who can relate to this? You get some bonus money from your side hustle, you feel good about making a sale, and then a big, hairy, unexpected bill comes in. Like the fridge shits itself, the car engine blows up, your child needs some sort of emergency something something, and that cashiola goes straight out the door. However, what I always say is, what if I didn't have the bonus monies? I would be in the hurt locker, I would be up shit creek. That is why side hustles are the best. <sighs> I tell you, I'm glad I'm not leaving. It'll be a bit sad. And, got a lot of work. One of the reasons I accepted this Extool P2 laser is I generally believe I can make this machine work for me. I'd like to put in the material, close the lid, press start, and I move on to other things, more fun things, to make the most out of my time. This machine would be a large investment, but it also takes up lots of space. That was one of my main considerations when I accepted this machine. Hopefully this renovation will let me be a bit smarter with the space I have. Alrighty, on to Operation Table Saw Upgrade. A few months ago, I traveled to Melbourne for Wood Dust 23 and took part in the Woodworker Games live on stage. It was a hell of an event. But what this event did for me was it let me try out all the Sherwood woodworking machines that are available at Timbercon. And in comparison to most of the gear I'm running right now, it was an absolute dream. A Sherwood cast iron cabinet saw with overhead dust with all the things, etc., etc., will do me just fine. Now, here is some pretty exciting news. I have officially started a partnership with Timbercon and I will soon be receiving a brand new Sherwood cast iron cabinet saw. It'll be replacing my current table saw setup and I'll be sharing this saw and all of its features with you very soon. I'll be producing more video content for the Timbercon YouTube channel and all their social medias, focusing on the saw as well as some exciting new products that will be on offer at Timbercon. So if you'd like to see and hear about all the shiny new things, please go and sub up to their channel and stay tuned for what is to come. Now, the plan for the cashiola that I've been saving up all year and that I now don't need to spend is to reinvest it back into the side hustle. Slowly and 
time permitting. I have a loose plan to extend the shed just a little with a proper roof and walls, giving me a few more square meters of valuable floor space and potentially move the lathe outside, helping control the dust and the mess that that thing creates. I have just finished the final brutal decluttering and I'm continuing to organize the shed. My next step is to find a home for the X-Tool P2 laser so that I can use my workbench again. I'll then be eagerly awaiting the new table saw which will also let me bring several more videos to the channel this year, including building the fanciest outfeed table that I have ever had. I made too many mistakes on that coffee table, so I won't be selling it, and I really want to make good use of it here. Plus, it looks pretty rad for a YouTubing woodworking person like myself. Alrighty, thank you very much for continuing to support me here on the channel. And if you would like to continue supporting me, the best way you can do that is to click on this playlist before you go to bed tonight. And just let it run. Catch you later.